I guess in this video, I'm going to discuss about how to add or multiply text blocks in ASP.NET. So let's uh, go to add your designer. So first I'm going to add a for text box control. Now here two and three and here four. Now here after let's uh, drag them and here drag there so this is add here text box 3 and here this is a text box 4 now here after the next thing is so add here going to write to going to take add here for level control so add here drag level 1 and here level 2 and here level 3 and here after level 4 now here after going to add here change the label text property let's write to enter first value now here second enter second value now here after third text property going to check add here into third value and here after this is for output output and here equal so add here the text property of level that change now here after I am going to make that at here first now here after the next thing is not this point now here after the next thing is so at here if you double click on text box so at here text change event it's open now here after let's open text change for text box to and here this is for third and here this is for fourth now here after the next thing is so let's write simplest code now here after the next and here going to take add here first i'm going to create one function so add here let's write public void and here giving the function name txt now here after the next is inside going to take three integer type variable t1 t2 and here t3 now here after going to take at here boolean type variable b1 equal to int dot so at here going to use here you can find try parse method and here let's use text box 1 and here if you press at here dot here you can find text now here after let's use out and here so this is for t1 now here after simply copy this line and here paste it down so this is for 3 times so add here let's take the second time b2 and here this is for b3 now here after text box 2 and here this is for 3 and here modify t1 next t2 and here t3 now here after let's write add here if condition if condition and here going to use d1 and here and operator d2 and operator d3 so if this condition is true now here text property of 4 equal to not equal to here we need to include text and here let's do some mathematical calculation so at here t1 plus t2 
now here after let's use multiply so first i'm going to add add here text box one and text box two value going to add now multiplying with the text box p3 now here after let's use so add here we need to make convert into a string so add here going to use to a string function so if this condition is true, so that go to this part and suppose if this condition is if the user enters some none numeric value, so for this add here let's use text box for and here text property equal to add here wrong input. So message should be display add here wrong input. Now here after let's call add here text box or txt method in text box 1 text box 2. So add here let's write txt there and here after txt now here txt inside text box 3. So this is the code add here to add and multiply text box now here after execute the code so add here enter first value so going to enter add here 12 now here let's use 3 so 12 plus 3 the value come 15 and here let's multiply it in here so when i uh, cursor add here comes to this point add here this is not displaying anything so add here one thing we need to include auto post back property so let's go add here this one and here go to source part and here text box 3 so when that to move auto text box 3 so add here auto post back that become true so add here make that true now here after let's execute once again So add here, let's enter the value of a, 12, next, 3, and here, 4. So here, when that to odd from, control odd from text box 3, now here, I'm getting the output 60. So 12 plus 3, the value comes 50, 50 into 4, the value comes 60. So add here, output, it's displaying, add here, 60. So add here, text box 1 value 12, text box 2 value 3, and text box 4 value, sorry, text box 3 value, Four and here after or doing this all operation so output comes to text box 4 and here the output is 60 so add here when you use add here auto post back so about the auto post back property that I already discussed so when that add here control moves from text box 3 then auto post post back property become true so add here when that true so add here or this type of calculation that happen so here this kind of a calculation like t1 plus t2 so 12 plus 3 15 15 into 4 that comes 60 and here 60 is now converted into a string and here that comes to text box 4 so here now add here text box 1 that value that i entered to add so add here this is now 12 and here this value is now 3 and here this value that I enter 4 so if that match add here this condition is true so when that add here 12 3 and 4 that condition is true then that do the operation suppose if I execute once again and uh, here I am going to enter none numeric values so add here let's use 12 now here going to enter a and here this is 12 so add here this is non numeric value now here when that font add here non numeric value so add here 12 it's fine a it's not fine add here condition is not match it's not an integer and here b3 value is 12 so add here when user enter any or 
none integer value now that go to add here as part add here the output display into text box for add here wrong input so that here it's a displaying wrong input so this is the code add here to display or to add to or text box and multiply text box add here so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you